Welcome to the Nifty Chicks and this week's episode of NF Tutorials. In this episode, we'll show you how to set up an NFT collection and create your first NFT using the Wax Atomic Hub platform. Best part about using Wax Atomic Hub? The fees are inexpensive and no gas for collectors. Let's do this. So in this episode, we are going to learn how to create an NFT using the Wax Atomic Hub dot io creator so the first thing you're going to want to do is be logged in to your wax wallet so you can see i am logged in over here and then you're going to go to the selection for nft creator and that takes you here to my collections which i actually started this already just because i wanted to make sure that I knew everything and had everything ready before I recorded this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and click create new collection just to give you guys an idea of what we're going to go through. So the first thing you're going to want to do is upload a collection logo, which I just chose our uh, Nifty Chicks logo. Then you're going to put in your collection name. Uh, just note here that it's it has to be 12 characters. It can't be less. Uh, and it has to be number, you have to have numbers one through five and any letters A through Z for the collection name. So you can see I did Nifty Chicks one. So that's the collection name, Nifty Chick Chicks one. Then you've got a different display name. So I used the Nifty Chicks as our display name. You can add in your website here, HTTPS. Uh, Nifty Chicks, and I can't type because you all are watching, niftychicks.io. We're going to just do a 2% market fee here. This is where you can put a description of your collection. This is for the Nifty Chicks episode 79. Now you can upload a banner image and a logo here. You can add in your Twitter handle, your Discord, Medium, YouTube, Facebook, Telegram, GitHub. You can add in your company information, the Nifty Chicks, your name, managing director, registration number, address. Um, you can add authorized accounts here if you would like, and then notify accounts. And then the last thing you're going to do is click Create collection. So I'm actually going to go back here because I've already done this. So I'm going to click my collection. So that's basically everything that I just walked you through. Um, and that is our collection. So now that you've got the collection set up, it's time to actually start creating NFTs. And within here, you're going to see um, a variety of options. So you've got NFTs. These are your NFTs that you've created. You've got templates. If you've created templates for your NFTs, which basically is just going to make it easier for you if you are kind of doing the same thing over and over again. Then there's schemas. Um, this is so I did a test here. You can do a schema. This is uh, the Nifty Chicks test. Basically, what a schema does is it defines the attributes of the templates and the NFTs. You can add additional attributes after the initial creation, but you can't change existing att attributes. It can also be used as a category to differentiate a NFT types or releases. So, for example, if you have a version one and a version two, you might have different schemas so that way you know which one is from version one and which one is from version two. Okay. So then the last thing is additional tools. They've got collection book editor, market filters editor, and submit whitelist request. I'm not going to go into details about all of these things because I really just want you guys to get started with setting up an NFT and, and making this happen. So the first thing we're going to do is go over here and click create new NFTs. So I'm going to select a schema. This is, I'm just going to use our 
the nifty chicks test as our schema. And then we're going to select a template. And that is the template that I created. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new template. I'm going to upload an image or video, which I created this little video earlier. Um, so creator tip here, it says, uh, templates main purpose is to save RAM costs by storing data that is duplicate like name and image in multiple similar NFTs only once. Using a template will also generate mint numbers that enumerate the NFTs by creation date. Markets like Atomic Hub use the template to group similar NFTs for statistics like price history. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put a max supply on this of 50 NFTs. So only 50 of this NFT can be created. Attributes are what you created from your schema and you can adjust these. You just want to make sure that you input a name, then you've got your image or your video that you're using as the NFT. I added episode number and rarity for upcoming releases. Uh, there may be rarities and then also the episode number just because that goes with this NFT. So we're going to go ahead and click create where assets can be transferred and assets can be burned. I'm going to go ahead and agree to the terms and services and create this template. Okay. It is creating my transaction. I'm going to go ahead and click approve on the box that pops up and the transaction is successful. So we're going to close that. And let's see what happens here. So I want to actually change this to 50 because I created 50. So I'm going to create 50 of these NFTs. Create. I'm going to go ahead and agree to the terms and services. So now you can see I've got um, the NFTs are going to this wallet, my Nifty Chicks wallet. And the number of copies is 50. So I'm minting 50 and hopefully I have enough uh, wax in the wallet to create this. Okay. So it is working on it. We're waiting for confirmation, waiting, waiting, waiting. And we've got a tra we've got a view transaction. It's been successful. So it did, it basically, it, it minted the 50 that I, um, so you can see here are the 50 NFTs. So that's how easy it is to create an NFT collection. And now, mind you, this is just, you know, one image that I uploaded. But here's what I want to do for you all is if you want to set up your own Wax Cloud wallet and get started with Wax, uh, you can go look at our episode. It was uh, the Nifty Chicks episode number 76. So go to the niftychicks.io forward slash 76. It'll take you to that episode or you can go find it on YouTube. And I've got a tutorial walking you through how to get started with the Wax Cloud wallet. And then what I want you to do is once you have your Wax Cloud wallet and you've got this address. So you can see up here in the corner, izf3e.c.wam. Send me that. I'm going, I'm going to set up a, a link. Um, it will be in the show notes for this show, the niftychicks.io forward slash 79. So you're going to go to that. You're going to submit your Wax ID wallet. And once you've done that, then I will send you one of these NFTs. So you will have your first NFT from the Nifty Chicks uh, creating NFT collections on Atomic Hub. So how exciting is that? So hopefully this tutorial has been helpful and be sure to go to the show notes, the niftychicks.io forward slash 79 to enter your wax wallet. And then we will be sending you your very own Nifty Chicks NFT if you are one of the first 50 to submit. So thanks for watching. Wow. Thank you so much, Mindy Cell, for showing us all about how to utilize Atomic Hub to 
mint your your own nft with such low gas fees in fact fun fact uh wax was the first crypto that i actually personally held myself um and the atomic hub was where i first bought my very first nft thanks to joel com and the bad crypto podcast so um it's a it's a sweet spot for me close to home because i love that that's the original platform that I used. Um, but yeah, super excited for everyone to get to, you know, dabble in Atomic Hub and Wax. Um, it's just a really great platform. Yep. Me too. Me too. And I just want to remind everybody that you should subscribe on our YouTube channel uh, because we have all kinds of other tutorials out there walking you through how to get set up on Wax and you know, a bunch of different things. So make sure you subscribe and click that bell so that you're notified whenever we have a new episode go out. That's right. And as always, thank you so much for listening to the Nifty Chicks. Always remember, invest in yourself. You are worth it. Please listen carefully to the following disclaimer. Neither the host nor the guests of the Nifty Chicks podcast are acting in the capacity of financial advisors. We wish to remain transparent and impartial to the NFT community at all times, and therefore, the content provided by the Nifty Chicks hosts and guests are intended for general information purposes only. Nothing written or discussed by the Nifty Chicks hosts and guests should be construed or relied upon as investment, financial, legal, regulatory, accounting, tax, or similar advice. Nothing should be interpreted as a solicitation to invest in any cryptocurrency or NFT, and nothing herein should be construed as a recommendation to engage in any investment strategy or transaction. Please be advised that it is in your own best interest to consult with investment, legal, tax, or similar professionals regarding any specific situation and any prospective transaction decisions. You must do your own research when considering investing in cryptocurrencies or NFTs. We are simply sharing our journey with you as we learn more about the world of NFTs. Happy minting.